Hey folks, Philly Boy J back here with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make shrimp fettuccine alfredo. Let's talk about the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need some pepper. You're going to need some salt. I recommend that you go out and get some sea salt. Do not use iodized salt. Here we have some butter. Don't use margarine. I used margarine before. I didn't like the taste that it gave it. So you're going to go out and get some butter. It tastes much better when you use butter. You're going to need some shredded Parmesan cheese. If you can't find any shredded Parmesan cheese, get the block of Parmesan cheese and shred it yourself. That tastes absolutely delicious. I love Parmesan cheese. Grated Parmesan cheese is optional. You're only going to use that if you need additional cheese. And of course, you're going to need some Cajun seasoning. That's what we're going to be seasoning our shrimp with. Pepper, salt, and Cajun seasoning. It gives it a real good flavor. Let's focus on what else you're going to need to make your shrimp fettuccine alfredo. You're going to need a bag of pre-cooked deveined shrimp. Okay, we're going to be using pre-cooked deveined shrimp. If you're using raw shrimp, just fry it before adding it to the alfredo sauce. And you're going to need some egg noodles. You can use whatever kind of noodles you want. Next. You're going to need some heavy whipping cream. If you don't have that, you can use buttermilk. I think buttermilk tastes really, really good when cooking shrimp, fettuccine, alfredo. You're going to also need some minced garlic. If you can't find any minced garlic or don't have any, just chop up a fresh piece of garlic clove into really, really small pieces. And that'll do fine just right there. Here's what we're going to do first. We're going to get our bag of frozen pre-cooked deveined shrimp. Okay, and I'm going to open this up because these are completely frozen. They're really, really hard. So what we have to do is we have to defrost them first, obviously, and we're going to place them in a bowl and we're going to allow them to soak in some cool water. We got to defrost these babies. I should have already defrosted them before doing the video. What was I thinking? Hmm. We're going to fill that up with some water. We're going to let those shrimps sit inside of that cool water until they defrost. And then afterwards, what we're going to do is we're going to peel the tails off of the shrimp. We'll get back to that when we're ready for them. You want to get a pot. You're going to place a pot over medium heat. You're going to fill it up with water. And you're going to add half the bag of egg noodles. And you're only going to boil you these for approximately 8 to 10 minutes. You don't want to boil them too long because they will get very bloated, turn really white, and they'll be soggy. And you don't want soggy, bloated, white egg noodles. Now we have our shrimp here. At this point, they are defrost. They're unfrozen. We're going to peel off the tails of the shrimp. We're going to peel off the skin that comes from the tail. Wouldn't it be really convenient if they did that too? I mean, it's already pre-cooked. Peel the tail off for us, you know? Let's work for us. Let me stop being lazy. I'm being really, really lazy. They're already pre-cooked. They're already deveined. The least you can do is peel the tail off the shrimp, Jay. <laughs> I'm just being silly, folks. Okay, so we're going to continue to peel the tails off the shrimp. That's the way they should look. I'm going to throw them in the trash. And what we're going to do now is we're going to season the shrimp with the seasons that we talked about earlier. We're going to be using some pepper. And by the way, you can use whatever season you want to use. It's totally optional and up to you. But I recommend that you stick with this recipe and use a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Do not use a lot of black pepper. It will make this dish too spicy because you're already using the Cajun season, which is kind of hot. So you don't want to use a lot of pepper. And you're going to use about two teaspoons of Cajun season. You don't want to use a lot of season in this dish. It don't require a lot of seasoning. Okay. And what you're going to use is a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. A half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of salt. Okay. That's just to give it taste. The cheese has a little bit of salt in it, so if you don't want to use any salt, you don't have to use it. That is totally optional. 
and what we're going to do now is we're going to blend our seasons in by giving it a nice stir and we're going to get ready to make our all fredo cheese soon not yet but we're going to get ready to make the all fredo cheese soon some people call it all fredo sauce so give that a nice stir okay give that a nice stir we want to make sure this is well blended okay and that cajun season is really going to give the shrimp a really nice taste some people like to use old bay season okay but i'm not going to use any old bay season i prefer the cajun season on my shrimp fettuccine alfredo okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to drain the water from the pot of noodles it's been about eight to ten minutes so we're going to drain them now and we're going to just let them cool off until we are ready to eat okay those are really really hot so watch yourself those are our noodles and as you can see they still have their texture they still have their color because we only boil you them for eight to ten minutes okay so they're not very bloated they don't look all white and soggy like they're falling apart here we have our measuring cup and we have our heavy whipping cream and what you're going to do is you're only going to use about a cup to a cup and one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream okay but just in case you need more just use the whole carton which comes to about two cups me personally I use a lot because I like to have a little alfredo sauce left over for some other things that I like to use alfredo sauce on we're going to get our pan going to place your pan over low heat and to that pan you're going to add two tablespoons of butter use two tablespoons of butter okay and what we're going to do is we're going to add our minced garlic and we're going to allow the minced garlic to saute a little bit okay I just don't like it to have that raw taste that's the only reason why I do this and I also like my alfredo sauce to have a little bit of a buttery flavor I think it gives it a really really nice flavor when you don't add butter it just don't taste as good and for the minced garlic I think I used about one teaspoon of minced garlic you don't want to add a lot of minced garlic minced garlic is extremely strong if you add too much it will ruin the dish it wouldn't ruin it but it won't taste like alfredo fettuccine what it will taste like is garlic fettuccine <laughs> okay so we added our heavy whipping cream and now what we're going to do is i'm going to add the whole bottle i think this is a five ounce bottle of real shredded parmesan cheese okay make sure that the pan is over low heat low heat if you have numbers on your knob put it on about a three that should be low enough right there so we're going to spread this all out and we're going to allow this to simmer over low heat for about five to ten minutes or until it thickens and it could be how thick or loose as you want some people like their alfredo sauce really thick I don't like mine's extremely thick because if you have any left over and you put it in the refrigerator it's going to stiffen up a lot so you want it to be kind of on the looser side but not too loose you want it to be the texture of a sauce that's why it's called alfredo sauce or alfredo cheese sauce so we want to give that a nice stir and blend everything again it has a really nice smell and a nice flavor the parmesan cheese combined with the whipping cream and then the small amount of minced garlic that we use really gives our alfredo sauce a really really good flavor now if you find that you need more cheese because your alfredo sauce isn't as thick as you would like it to be go ahead and add about two to three tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese or however much you need to get the sauce to be as thick as you desire okay 
I add it anyway, regardless, because I like the taste that the grated Parmesan cheese give the fettuccine Alfredo dish. But you don't have to add that. That is not a part of the recipe. So we're going to add our shrimp now, our seasoned shrimp. And we're going to just give that a few stirs. I did cut the fire off. We're not going to cook the shrimp because the shrimp are already pre-cooked. If you keep it in that sauce and allow it to cook too long, it's going to stiffen up. And it's going to have a very rubbery texture. And it's going to lose its flavor and taste. So don't do that. The shrimp are already cooked. So just put it in there. Stir it in. Make sure that you get that Alfredo sauce on top of it. And that's it cut the fire off before adding the shrimp so there we have our alfredo sauce and our shrimp and we're going to pour that over our egg noodles as you can see they have that texture they look good ah philly boy j make the best shrimp fettuccine alfredo in a whole wide world don't nobody make Shrimp fettuccine Alfredo like Philly Boy J. Don't nobody. I'll pay you to find somebody that makes shrimp fettuccine Alfredo like me. I'll pay you. I'll pay you to find somebody that make it as good as me. <laughs> That's my slogan. And look at that. It looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it? And that's why I like my sauce to be medium thick i don't like it to be extremely thick but i don't like it to be very very runny either i like it to be just like that mm, 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 mm. looks absolute look at that so look at that alfredo so ah that alfredo sauce looks so good looks so good look at the alfredo sauce guys it looks so good that makes me cry it makes me cry oh, look at that alfredo sauce Look at that shrimp. Look at them egg noodles. <laughs> I'm too silly, man. I am too silly. So there you have it. Shrimp, fettuccine, Alfredo sauce. Many of you guys have been requesting that I do this video. You've been requesting that I do this video and the recipe since my last account. So I had to do it for you guys. Just had to pick the right time. And just for decoration purposes and for additional flavor, what you can do is you can add some fresh parsley flakes. Those are not fresh. These are the parsley flakes that come inside of the bottle. But just add a little teaspoon of parsley flakes to give it some color and for decoration purposes. Most of you guys probably wouldn't like the way that tastes. You have to have an acquired taste for parsley flakes on shrimp fettuccine alfredo. So you guys probably shouldn't use that. Okay. But just for the purpose of the video, I use that. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. Peace. Shrimp fettuccine Alfredo, January 2015.